a very good day to all my students today we are going to talk a practical topic under entrepreneurship management you all know that entrepreneurship is a very very hot topic many of us feel that we have got lot of creative ideas with us all that we need is support system in order to grow it and you also understand that with make in india initiative um, the indian government and all the support system are encouraging entrepreneurship you also must appreciate if we have to meaningfully engage the youth of india in order to achieve the trillion dollar gdp dream of ours then we need to have a lot of micro level entrepreneurs my topic today is going to be what are the competencies that an entrepreneur requires and can it be acquired through small micro projects that are conducted in the college level that is what i am going to discuss over today this can be useful for the students who want to experiment with small money whether they are good at entrepreneurship or they can experiment with the skills that is required for entrepreneurship and it is also useful for teachers who want to incorporate this as a project or a practical component for teaching entrepreneurial skills basically a subject like entrepreneurial skills can be Uh, learned by the student by doing it rather than through looking at the stories of other entrepreneurs that stories of other entrepreneurs will definitely motivate them but they have to get their hands dirty in order to understand what kind of entrepreneurial skills and competencies that they have we all know that entrepreneurship is about the initiative to start a business and run it successfully in order to make money for oneself and provide job opportunity for other people and as well as give a useful product to the society product or service so there are certain competencies that generally are associated with entrepreneurship this is creativity problem solving decision making communication leadership self analysis the ability to understand what we are good at and what we enjoy doing and where we need improvement personal efficacy the capability the understanding that i am good at something i will be able to complete or achieve this culture and values risk taking behavior and technology backup these are generally talked about competencies what i am going to focus is the broader definitions of all these are fine as a student or as a 20 year old or uh, uh, of that age group how can you test the waters whether you have got these competency how can you develop these competencies that is what we are going to see today in this lecture of ours so we are going to look at the entrepreneurial skills that can be acquired through solving local problem another thing that is required in today's world whether for a developing country or a developed country is not about coming up with products that are fancy or which fascinate you it is about products and services which will solve the local problems give local solutions for the global and the local problems uh, so that it will be a success in the market as well as it will be useful for the society so from that perspective we are going to see if we develop these entrepreneurial skills in the students about solving local and global problem with small solutions that they can think about will it be useful in the long run or not so the problem that we have identified is an aging society now the percentage of elderly is 9.3 it is likely to become 16 percentage by 2050 the story is similar in countries like india also where the decadal growth of the elderly population which is shown by the red line you can see it is on the upward trend but the people who are likely to help or be the service providers for them is on the downward trend this is a big demographic transition which is going to have a major impact on the product and services available in the society as well as in the growth of the society so something needs to be done in order to engage meaningfully the available youth population in order to cater to the needs of the elderly population we look at these are the issues that they are uh, facing right now in terms of no emergency response system poor health monitoring concerns about safety loneliness epidemic and no trusted support system 
these are the areas where they need help the geriatric population and we need to utilize the power of the youth in order to achieve this. Um, we look at five different projects that were carried out by the students of Albertian Institute of Management's MBA program in order to get their hands dirty and entrepreneurial skill and also contribute to the society because all the five projects were targeting the geriatric population. The first one is Know the Elderly. These people actually made documentary or printed book about people who have had an illustrious long career and have retired recently. They had lot of lessons, lot of uh, things that they wanted to share. These people made audio books and printed books of these uh, uh, personalities. You might not call them as personalities, but people who had had long tenure in government services and other places have managed many crises uh, and have learned many lessons which they want to share. That was made into an audio book and a printed book and they were trying to sell it. The second one was uh, an entertainment services for the elderly. The elderly, because of higher life expectancy, good medical opportunities available, want to keep themselves active, healthy and look for entertainment sources within their circle. This particular entrepreneurship venture was dedicated to that. The third one was about providing essential services, say for example, newspaper leading or taking them to a barber or to a nearby temple or church that they would like to visit or just spending time with them doing their uh, regular uh, say for example giving the, the uh, lifelong certificate in a bank or routine bank jobs or understanding new development in the whatsapp app all these things they need assistance so these kind of sundry assistance was provided by the third group of entrepreneurs the fourth one was about connecting the elderly people with whatever knowledge and educational skills that they have with the local uh, kids who wanted uh, uh, special attention or who wanted some kind of tutoring in order to improve their particular skills at school. With the pandemic setting in, many of the students had lost track of the multiplication tables or the basic alphabetical phonetics and everything and parents were at a, a, a very shortage of time in order to rekindle all these skills in a phased manner the geriatric population were a big help in this the fourth entrepreneurship venture talked about that the fifth one was about making the uh, elderly entrepreneurs Many of them had skill sets but were not savvy enough with the technology, with the marketing aspect and the other managerial things in order to take forward their interest and make it into a business. The, this student group uh, took up the initiative to make a branding for them, to make logos for them and to develop them as micro business people. So, if you look at it, these were the documentary books that they came out with. The skills that they learned in this entire venture of talking to people who had retired, making them share their experiences, capture it, put it in an interesting form in a local language that is Malayalam and trying to sell is communication. Most importantly, they had to uh, make the elderly feel that their life is worthy of sharing. Please give all the nuances and the things that you would like to share and uh, conceptualizing and making it into an audio book. The cultural values and uh, were also another thing that they learned in the entire process because when a person who is a headmaster who has retired after nearly 40 years of service talks about the highest amount of uh, punctuality that he maintained throughout the 40 years it incorporates somewhere the value system in the youngsters that it is possible to be punctual for a meeting, for a household commitment or anything in life. Certain things that are just getting drained out from today's youth can be brought back through this particular initiative and uh, problem solving about finding, identifying people who are ready to share and whether it has got a market value or not, all these things they were able to wear. The second one in the entertainment program, the entertainment was provided by the students itself. 
so this led to leadership somebody had to take in the group take the lead and identify a place which could come free for them or at a low cost where they can conduct this particular event as well as coordinate the other things self analysis each group member identified that i am good at yoga i am good at storytelling so during that entertainment session i will be doing this i will engage the target audience of geriatric population came up they were able to analyze their qualities appreciated celebrated in front of the older people and finally personal efficacy yes i can do it in fact some of the students who were very shy who were not uh, very bold enough in front of their uh, classmates became very bold after facing the older generation doing something in front of them entertaining them whether it was dance music storytelling ice breaking this gave them lot of energy lot of power in order to face their peers when they came back after this initiative The next one was about providing services to the old people whether it is vegetable medicines or other such things and the skills that they acquired were decision making and communication uh, when they wanted some kind of medicines or vegetables or fruits what price point to buy when to buy how to deliver how to make the customer who is a complex proposition given their age and the uh, insecurities that they have how they were able to do it develop their decision making as well as communication skills the fourth one the tuition services connecting the elderly people with the local um, children who wanted the uh, basic of science maths and other subjects this initiative actually gave them the risk taking and decision making capability because they were they had to match the timing the capability competency of the tutor with the student Uh, here you have got two different generations the youngsters on the very small children on the youngsters who were born with a mobile phone who are, are the products of or you call them as digital natives another group which talks about culture respect and all such things in order to connect it you need lot of um, composure in order to uh, take this project forward so these students had a lot of risk taking lessons as well as decision making mapping a tutor with a student which subject what timing how much to charge all this were a big operational research problem for them the last one was the most beautiful of all the entrepreneurship project where you empower the old people to start their own venture a very very difficult proposition in a country like india where people believe that after i'm old and all that i'm expected to do is wait for my death these people were able to pump in life of these uh, uh, i mean potential entrepreneurs and tell them that you are good at baking you are good at plumbing you are good at tailoring you are good at farming we will brand your particular products we will take forward yours in the facebook and instagram we are your digital support go ahead and show the world the skills that you have got this was an amazing experience for the students and technology backup apart from that the many other uh, characteristics that they showcased they all the groups were perseverance when you are dealing with old people there are lot of insecurities on both the sides more so on the customer side because they believe why somebody should do all these for us why uh, it, it doesn't come with a risk so you need to convince them you should have lot of patience and perseverance to go ahead with such projects they were all hard working and consistent in whatever they had to they had timelines of deliverables they stuck to it and they were able to do a great job and a great learning experience also so why this particular approach of choosing the geriatric population there is a beautiful concept that is evolving in the european and the western world and which has to come very successfully in a country like india in order to see graceful aging of this particular population which is called a silver economy which is the existing and emerging economic opportunities associated with the growing public and consumer expenditure related to population aging and the specific needs of population over 50 the number of people over the age of 50 how they can contribute to the economic activities they contribute to the economic activities because they buy products and services that are customized for them or is available for the general public they themselves can become business people 
and contribute to it. And finally, products and services are developed by the corporate specifically for them. This also leads to economic churning. We cannot afford to ignore the silver economy if we have to grow as a trillion dollar GDP country. We are a developing country. This geriatric population is an important component. Majority of them have got good money with them and are looking out for product and services that are customized for them. So silver economy cannot be ignored and we need micro level entrepreneurs from the youth of India in order to achieve success in this particular part of the economy. These are the different sectors uh, from media to fashion to cosmetics to home delivery, design, public transport where a lot of opportunity for silver economy entrepreneurship is available. A lot of learning happens for the students. Teachers can experiment with this. The students can themselves understand their entrepreneurial skills by taking up projects related in any of these areas to develop the silver economy. I wish all the students and teachers a happy learning and developing of skills by experimenting with such innovative entrepreneurial projects. Thank you one and all.